planet, you and I, many years ago. I think I would have remembered that. Unlikely. You had just been born. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. My first time away from Dorne. I didn't like anything about the rock. <laughs> not the food, not the weather, not your accents, nothing. <sighs> but the biggest disappointment, you. You and my family had more in common than you might admit. The whole way from Dorne, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. A head twice the size of his body, a tail between his legs, claws, one red eye, the privates of both a girl and a boy. That would have made things so much easier. When we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. Every day we would ask, every day she would say, soon. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery and... She unveiled the free. Your head was a bit large, your arms and legs were a bit small, but no claw. No red eye, no tail between your legs, just a tiny pink cock. We didn't try to hide our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. Sooner or later, Cersei always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice for my sister and her children. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. I disagree. Come to the perfect place. I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice, and all those who have wronged me are right here. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane, who killed my sister's children, and then raped her with their blood still on his hands, before killing her too. I will be your champion. 